Now, what about if we consider a different join algorithm? Say, page nested loops join becomes sort merge join. Note that we've pushed down the selections already to the sort merge join, so we'll only be sorting and merging the outputs of the selection. But what's the cost of that overall? Let's have a look at that closely. Let's assume we have five buffers. The cost of the plan then, we're going to scan reserves, that's 1,000. We're going to scan sailors, that's 500. And then for each of those, we're going to sort, and then finally we're going to merge. So what's the cost to sort the high-rated sailors? Note that unlike when we talked about sort, sorting from uh, tables, here we've already paid the cost of scanning sailors. So in pass zero, we won't account for that cost. It's already been handled by assigning it to the scan node. So pass zero doesn't do read IO, it just gets its input from the selection. Similarly, uh, for reserves, we don't do the read I.O. of reserves, and we don't account for that cost as part of the join. That cost is accounted for in the scan. So we can uh, think about these costs where pass zero reads are free. And then the question is how many passes for each sort, given that we're going to do log based four. Right? With five buffers, we get a fan in a four during merging. Let's hold off on computing that for a moment. And then the cost of the final merge is simply to read the sorted runs of um, sailors and the sorted runs of reserves and merge them. So that's 10 plus 250 is 260. So the remaining question is how much does the sort cost? So assume we have five buffers. The cost of the plan is going to work out like this. We scan reserves, that's 1,000. We scan sailors, that's 500. And then let's look sorting each side. On the right hand side, it's going to take us two passes to sort reserves uh, because there's uh, only 10 pages to sort. So in pass zero, we're not going to pay for the read because we assign that to reserves. We're going to pay for the write, that's 10 IOs. And then in pass one, we'll have to read and write the output of the uh, first, the zeroth pass. So that is 2 times 10 uh, total for reserves. For sailors, in pass zero, we're going to get the read for free again. The write is 250 pages, it's half of the sailors. Okay? Passes one, and then two, and then three are all going to do a read and a write of those 250 pages. And then we're going to have to pay for the merge, which, as we said, is 260. So the total cost is 1,000 plus 500 plus sorting of reserves, which is 10 plus 2 times 10, plus sorting of sailors, which is 250 plus 3 times 2 times 250, plus the merge of uh, 10 plus 250. That total is 3630, which is, in fact, better than the page nested loops join we were doing. So that's nice. Now. Let's go back on the left to our page nested loops join and ask the obvious question of what if we used a better algorithm like block nested loops join. What would be the benefit of doing that? So let's take the cost there. We have five buffers for blocks. Okay, So we're going to use four of them at a time to do the scan of the interrelation. We're going to scan sailors. That's a cost of 500. And because we have a materialization on the right, we're going to scan reserves, which is 1,000, and write it to a temp, uh, which is going to be 10 because only one tenth of the tuples match the predicate. And then for each block full of high rated sailors, rather than for each page full, now we have each block full, we're going to loop on T1. So it's some number of times looping on T1, which is of size 10. And the number of times we'll loop is the ceiling of 250 over 4, right? Because we have four buffers uh, to use here. So the total cost is this expression. Uh, and when you work it out, it is a total of 2140 IOs, which is not only better than the sort merge join, it's certainly better than the page nested loops join we had before. So that's our best plan so far.